I got the steel 031 AV chainsaw. It runs uh, pretty bad. I think the condenser is shot from what I've been hearing. I purchased this chip and I'm going to install it. It's supposed to replace the points and condenser. First thing we gotta do is take all this apart. Gotta take this box off, take the carburetor off, all the way down to the intake boot. Don't you don't have to take the intake boot off, but we'll remove everything here and we will install this. Now, if you go to this video right here, just click on this link, and that will take you to a dismantling of all of this. That way you won't have to see it in this video. We're just going to show the installation of this chip. Okay, now let's get in here. We're going to go right in here and we're going to mount the uh, chip right in here. We're going to take these wires and we're going to cut them. Okay, we got our saw turned up on its end. Here's where we're going to put the chip. We got our coil back in here. Here's our coil wire. Okay, here's our instructions for this thing. So, uh, We'll go by the instructions and uh, see if we can make this work. I'm going to go ahead and take this intake boot off so you'll have a better idea of what I'm doing and which wires I'm cutting. Okay, now we'll go ahead and zoom in. Give a better idea of what's going on here. This here is our kill switch wire. This wire here goes to the uh, points and condenser. We're going to cut that wire. Probably right down in here. And we're going to cut this wire right here. Got that one cut. That one goes to the coil. That's the kill switch that's actually going right to the uh, points and condenser. So we'll go ahead and trim these out. Okay, now as you can see, we got it twisted together. But later on, the package comes with a small wire nut right here, so we'll put that on later. Okay, we're going to take our chip and one of these wires that came with the kit, and we're going to hold the chip like this. We're going to put this wire and hook it to the top. That's going to be our ground wire. We're going to come back here and when we mount this, we're going to mount it through this right here. Okay, now the other wire we have is a longer wire. It has nothing at the end. This one here we are going to put on the bottom of the chip. And this is the wire that we are going to put together with the other two wires and put the wire nut on. Right now, I'm going to go in here, I'm going to mount that right here. So if you can see here, I'm going to try and mount it to this place right here. With the provided screw. A good way to check your switch to see if it's actually working, go ahead and get you a multimeter. Put it on this setting here. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to put this one on the kill switch. The other ground is on the head itself. Now, right now, it's on, ready to start. Turn it off. See if I can hold this. Okay, see how it grounds out? That means the saw will die. Then we turn it back on. It's ready to start. Kills it. That's a good way to check your switch. Make sure your switch is working. Because the switch is actually grounded out up here when you turn the switch to stop. This is where it will ground out at, at the top of the switch itself. Okay, what I have done is I had to go find my own screw to put in here. The screw that came with the kit, garbage, won't fit in here. This is a six millimeter, so uh, I got it tightened down. I, sh I shortened this wire here. Now I'm going to put all three wires together. 
and I'm going to put the wire nut on. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to tuck these wires up in here, and I'm going to reassemble everything. Okay, what I've done here, zoom in so you can see, move this intake out of the way. I had to modify this bolt right here so that this bolt would actually fit into this threaded hole. The hole's already threaded. So this is the ground for the chip. The chip is back here behind the spark plug wire. The spark plug wire is kind of holding it in place. It's not mounted because I can't find a place to mount it and actually put this saw back together. So now I'm going to put the saw back together and see if this runs. So that little chip did work because it never ran like this before.